Welcome to another Goody Reader Review. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to review the Arcos Arnova 8G3. This is uh, the latest and greatest 8-inch tablet, which there really aren't a lot of these on the marketplace. You know, putting them, say, side by side with like a 7-inch tablet, you really see, and this is, uh, of course, uh, an, another Arcos tablet. That extra inch really makes a huge difference. You know, the screen is just like so much bigger. I really dig it. And uh, so we've actually done a review of this in a prior video. So you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goody reader. Uh, but for the sake of, uh, we pretty well just wanted to compare what a seven inch looks like versus uh, the eight inch tablet here. Uh, to give you guys a little bit of specs, 1024 by 600 is the resolution. It has a one gigahertz dual core processor in conjunction with one gig of RAM. You have a four gig, you know, hard drive space for internal memory. But of course you can expand that up to 32 gigs. Battery life is about 6.5 hours. And this is like if you're watching movies and doing very intensive things, you can get about 12 hours out of it if Wi-Fi is turned off and you're just doing simple tasks, reading web pages, RS feeds, you know, uh, pulse reader, or if you're just reading, say, a simple ebook course it has Wi-Fi for all your internet connectivity needs. Uh, Peter here is going to give you a total 360 of the unit and uh, tell you all about it. I really like the design on this uh, tablet. I like how the speakers are on the front. You have stereo speakers right here. So as you're viewing your games and your movies and your music you have a full multimedia experience because you get the image and you get the sound. You also have a front-facing camera. A lot of tablets these days like the Amazon uh, uh, Kindles and uh, the Fires and the Barnes and Noble Nook tablets, they don't have uh, cameras on it, whereas you do get a camera here, so uh, this can be used with various games and um, communication services and apps. You have a lot of buttons here, which I really like the option to have buttons. Um, if you look here, it is a little bit redundant if you notice you have back and back and home and home. But a lot of the times, as Michael was telling me earlier, in full screen games, the only the always thing we had problems with sometimes is that there aren't any software driven buttons at that point because the game is in full screen. So we're like, ah, how do you go back? This is where these come in. You have a full array of buttons here that don't really take up too much more space on the device uh, as you might think. The, they don't really extend the device that much. It, it actually does work in the layout they've kind of uh, designed here. So you have back, more, volume down, volume up, search, and home. So I thought that was a really good idea putting buttons on an ICS. Uh, we have Arnova on the back, a little bit fingerprinty, but that's what you get with a piano black finish. Um, can't really avoid that. We have a uh, rubber stopper button, uh, little raised parts here so that when you put your device down it's not going to uh, scratch the back. We have nothing on the left, nothing going on on the bottom, and nothing on the right. All the stuff happens up top here. You have a power button, you have a micro SD card slot, micro USB, 3.5 mil headphone jack. Um, not sure what this is. It might be for SIM card capabilities in um, Europe. And you have a reset button and a status indicator light area. Uh, all in all, I like the design. Uh, you don't really actually see too many ICS tablets have hard keys as well as soft keys. I kind of dig it just because it's a, a little bit of a departure from the norm. Of course, as I raved about in the unboxing video, I'm a huge fan of front-facing speakers. Uh, Kobo Arc, Blackberry Playbook are one of the few others on the market that actually have front-facing speakers. You look at the Kindles, the iPads of the world, uh, the Nook uh, tablets of the world. Everything's either on the side or on the back and if, when you're you know we're looking at the tablet and reviewing it this is pretty well how you hold it either in landscape or portrait mode you want the sound facing you as opposed to like the sound being muffled on the back or like the sound coming out of speakers like on the side where you have to hold it in such a way to get the most ideal sound a lot of times I just like to put it down I like to show my friends hey check out this video I made or check out this website and sound facing you rather than like okay I have to hold it in such an angle and such so yeah uh, vanilla ICS experience as we said before 
Uh, when you install it, you have the options to install some third-party applications, including uh, Angry Birds, Tiki Cart, uh, Office Suite, and uh, some other options. So you could uh, see it here magic doodle and so on so uh you you know you can make your movies or edit movies on the go with movie studio what we're going to do is show you audio video ebook experience content distribution service uh is sort of in that order so let's take a look at how uh, videos look on this eight inch tablet we have of course uh the perennial Big Buck Bunny, which is uh, an Arcos favorite to uh, load their stuff on. Uh, the reason why they do it apparently is because uh, there's just so many different colors sort of going on. Uh, what do we have for volume options? Is it on? This is what we love in a tablet. We're holding it just at an angle on a table here. We don't have to worry about where our hands are. We don't have to worry about beating on a flat surface or a case covering it. We have the speakers right here. Um, it comes across a lot way better with your ear than on microphone. Um, we're getting very crisp stereo sound here. So uh, I'm very, very satisfied and pleased with the fact that they have front facing freaking speakers. Yeah, I mean, thank you. Obviously, when we are shooting video, of a tablet playing video, you never really, it doesn't really ever come across as how it looks in, in real life here. Um, you do see on the camera a little bit of like flickering and a little bit of pixelation uh, because of the way that tablets and cameras work. But overall, in person, it looks amazing. And I mean, it doesn't look that bad either, like on video. It's so. full 1080p and the resolution is quite high. So uh, you're going to get some. You're gonna get some really good quality videos and uh, and games and just applications and pictures and PDFs and everything on the screen. Totally. So we've taken a look at um, and, and of course these are like the stock players. How does um what's music look like? Let's check that. Well, let's use uh, without downloading anything uh, third party or outside of what Arcos has supplied. We'll just click on the stock music experience here just to get an idea. So you have some cover art. You have uh, play stop go forward. Um, uh, extra buttons here like loops and shuffles and all that kind of stuff. Let's just get to some music here. Let's go forward. Oh, oh stock uh, experience isn't giving me any... Oh, there we go. The touch was a little difficult. Uh, I would suggest downloading a, a different and I would say a better um, music app from the uh, app store provided. Yeah, I mean Meridian is like a good one and it's free. There's there's plenty of really good audio uh, programs out there. Uh, most app stores have like dedicated audio and vis video sections that you could get like third-party apps that are way better than stock. But um, it does come with like a number of things that you could at least test these things out in real time. Speakers don't sound too bad. Let's just put the mic there really quick to give you a sense. Yeah, I mean, uh, the layout aside of this particular music app, which isn't what we're focusing on here, the music, the actual sound, it's very crisp, very clear. Stereo speakers, you're not going to have a problem with that at all. Totally. All right, so let's check out uh, the ebook experience. Of course, here at uh, Goody Reader, this is like what we're all about. It does come with Eldico, which is uh, the premier independent app. comes with like a free book, so this is like what we're going to look at uh, right now does go into landscape and portrait mode doesn't pinch and zoom but it does give you a number of options to like uh, you know highlight take notes if you click here you get some options here so daylight reading mode settings oh that looks a lot better I think uh, yeah I, I've always liked the day and night because reading shouldn't just be all about one particular lighting setup that people just assume you'll always have this gives you the option to read during the dark read you know in certain different kinds of light outdoor light indoor light no light at all and so forth 
Yeah, I mean, almost like every e-reading app has this option. Um, the reason why you would use this is because, say, a lot of people read in bed when they're going to like to sleep at night. You have the glaring white screen with like black text. A lot of the times, like it could cause like melanoma, you know. And we actually wrote a very big story lately on our Goody Reader website all about that on how the white screen for more than reading for more than two hours can actually cause insomnia melanoma and a lot of other uh, bad things especially in teenagers so these sort of options sort of counterbalance that of course if you hit more you do have some options to share but of course uh, hitting settings you could uh, check out the you know change the text fonts margins line spacing and all that jazz so uh, depending on your eyesight and our uh, reading preference you could change all of this of course um, each app, whether you're reading Kindle, Kobo, uh, or anything else, has a myriad of options to be able to tailor it. But we're looking at a singular ebook program here. This is like what you're going to experience, like on average. So, I must say though, I've never seen a. Uh, uh, there, there are very few tablets that um, do this when you zoom the text out far enough. I just noticed that it. It goes to a two-column split of a regular ebook. You don't usually see that in uh, a standard ebook. You usually see that on PDFs and newspapers. But I just zoomed the text out a couple um, points, and it went to this kind of dual, ev oh, even three-column layout of the screen. So really utilizing the eight-inch screen. Um, on camera, it's not coming across quite as clear. But with your naked eye, you can essentially read this. So you have a lot more screen real estate on an eight-inch compared to a seven or a six-inch e-reader. All right. So now that we've taken a look at uh, the the ebook experience and such, uh, of course, you could read both in landscape and portrait mode. However, you like to. Personally, I like reading in landscape mode because I, I'm, you know, I, I'm a sucker for animated page turns and you know programs like that and such. So let's look at content distribution system. How in the world do you get new apps with uh, the Arnova 8G3? Well, it comes with AppSlib and uh, we'll show you a, a little bit on uh, how that works. So this is your main home screen. And as you can see, it's it gets kind of laggy. Oh, huh. Absolute is not responding. Would you like to close it? Let's try this again. Hopefully it'll work this time. There we go. A little bit of a crash there. You know, it gives you lots of prompts to create an account, but in most cases you just want to straight up just download apps, you know, and go as you go. So this is the home screen. They have free and approved, whatever that means. Uh, if you click on a particular app, as you can see, there's a lot of load time involved in this and that can get kind of irksome if you're just casually browsing like, Hey, I've never heard of this before. What does it look like? Oh, I have to wait five or five to 10 seconds. And I mean, we're on a pretty fast Wi-Fi connection. Our internet is not, you know, uh, the big issue here, but you can see that, uh, there's this, it's paid in the free section. It kind of gets everything really sort of it looks, it, clumped together. It does look kind of cluttered when you uh, get to the the main screen here. You don't. It's not one full list. It is broken by this top 50, so you do actually have two sets of scrolls here. So uh, both with their own load, um, additional content loading times. So uh, let's, hit category. let's hit categories and see what's there. Looks like everything is... Uh, they have a decent amount of categories. They got everything from kids to adult content, I guess. Every spectrum of the the whole age spectrum um, does look like everything is green so there's a lot of greens that go into this all the logos and everything uh, you do see they have uh, supported paid apps and they have free apps so uh, well let's click on an app and you know check out how the interface let's like go more to, or less uh, this approved memory booster light what approved even means who, who approves it <laughs> so we have uh, see all comments yeah, there's uh, six or seven people commenting on that. Um, yeah, you have a couple logos and, uh, you know, the little snippet of what the app is about. All right, let's, uh, we've preloaded our own Goody Reader app store on here. And uh, a number of companies have actually licensed this from us uh, lately. And uh, you're going to see this as... Uh, 
the really up and coming uh, Android app market uh, out there. So stay tuned for further announcements on that. You can see here's uh, the interface. And um, you can see when you click on categories here, you get a number of like your top apps and things like that. And usually it's like five major apps per category, but if you click on uh, categories, you see here, uh, unlike apps lib, which basically had default options, these are indicative to the highest rated apps in a particular category. So you look at entertainment, Netflix is there, which means, hey, this is like where I can find like a lot of entertainment apps with Netflix being the most popular one. Of course, there's a rating system. And when you actually say click on Netflix, unlike apps lib that had a huge wait time, you're instantly there. Um, Unlike apps lib as well, um, just clicking on an app, you actually see the version number, number of downloads, upload date, starred rating, all in one concise format here. Apps lib had all sorts of weird bars and categories there. And uh, of course, we also have comments, rating systems, and uh, there's not a lot of you must register to enter this section. This is, you could pretty well download anything you want and you, there's no mandatory registr registration system. Exactly, very quick, uh, very fast when you go to click on categories, it boots right up. We have, and this was easily 2000 games here. You click Angry Birds, there's no, there's no circle spinning telling you you have to load. It just goes right to it, like Michael said. Uh, screenshot, number of downloads, version number, uh, everything's updated daily, um, if not hourly, and we have, you see the bar on the right slowly scrolling down as we have uh, thousands of games to search through. Uh, you also have a full search bar at the top so you can find exactly what you need to refine your search so you don't have to go scrolling through. Uh, thousands of apps that we have on our yeah screen. you can see big bright colors uh it, it's not like uh the one thing about say like get jar apps lib and things like that is that it's all uniform everything's really green um you know nothing's really dynamic whereas like us like if this smurfs app became less popular another app icon would take its place and, and it gives you an indication on like the most popular apps in any given category so uh goody reader app store free download you can download it from goodyreader.com apps we also have a web-based uh infrastructure as well so if you don't want to download the app store you can actually download apps right from our uh website uh to your device and um of course this is Pretty well, one of our, our latest new initiatives here at uh, Goody Reader is our, our app store. Uh, we also have a Playbook app store as well. So if you are uh, if you have a BlackBerry Playbook 3G or the original Wi-Fi, you can uh, download it from there as well. And going back to the tablet for a second, you see we have a he really graphic heavy and slideshows and, and banners, a very heavy page, and it loaded up extremely fast. So that's much credit to the... Uh, processing speed of this tablet and you see pinching and zooming and scrolling is is no problem at all and uh, you can get our client actually right here the goody reader app store you click on that and you can grab our client for any android tablet or phone or uh, android device one thing i'm wondering is that how does the keyboard look uh, we haven't showed that yet uh, let's click maybe like on uh you know like the navigation bar and uh, just give you a sense on the layout you can see that uh, typing is very easy. Uh, you, once again, about the 8-inch screen, you have a lot more screen to work with. You see this takes about, uh, I would say, 45% of the screen, and the other 55 is left for your viewing surface. So you do have a lot more room on an 8-inch screen. The keys are very big, so you can see my thumb. I have big hands and all that, but I can still easily click on any key I want without overlapping, and you know what I mean, like on a cell phone. So you do have a lot more... Uh, usable surface to work with on uh, a much bigger screen. And of course, if you don't like this keyboard layout, uh, you're not locked into it. The yeah. one thing about Android is, uh, and, and being a vanilla Android uh, interface, is that there's a tremendous amount of customization. If you don't like the keyboard, there's like 30 different keyboards that you can download, not only for English, but also for like international languages too. Uh, you can download like Swipe is like a good one where you can actually like swipe words. And uh, you know, there, there's ones that actually will talk to you. There's there's like uh, Siri clones now that you can get for Android. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you can get. Uh, the last thing that uh, we want to show you 
before we wrap this up is uh, the gaming experience. Uh, let's load up, uh, say, like a Tiki cart, which is something that would really show the graphics capabilities of this tablet. All right, so um, pretty much the music and the video player, we haven't closed any of those, so, and the browser and our app store and apps lib, so we're leaving all those open to uh, kind of keep them running in the background so we can really show you the capabilities of a 3D game while everything is running, so. The initial load time is a little bit long because it is a, it's a very complex game. It utilizes a gyroscope and accelerometer, and it has full 3D games here. Oh, I don't want the tutorial because I am a seasoned veteran at this game. Are you? No, I'm just kidding. But uh, just to speed things along here, let's uh, start up a level. And uh, I will try my best to keep it on camera as we play here. Like I said, this u utilizes the accelerometer and the gyroscope. You see how you can uh, turn using that. So uh, smooth graphics, absolutely no lagging. Uh, I don't think I'm driving properly. There we go. You nope. just rammed you. Are you going to take that? How, how do you even drive? I guess I should have read the tutorial. There we <laughs> go. Yeah, so um, you can see there's no um, there's no delay. There's no choppiness. It's just it's just going. And there's a lot going on. This is a, It's not a pre-rendered background. This is all 3D graphics. So you can see it's a very high-quality gaming experience on this uh, on this tablet. Yeah, I mean, dual core, one gigahertz, uh, a gig of RAM, uh, and and the eight inch screen, which uh, which I really like. There, you sort of see a, a, a lot of classes of devices. You have your six inches. When it comes to tablets, you have a lot of seven inches, and then it jumps from like nine point seven to like ten point one. You really don't see a lot of like eight inch to like eight point five, eight point seven, eight point nine inch tablets. I think the Arcos Arnova eight G three does a really good job in providing fairly good resolution a tremendous price point as well as things like a webcam uh, with hard keys uh, you saw 3d games there was no clipping uh, with ebooks um, the big screen actually really allows you to fit more text on a page at once and once you get past like the the default apps and start downloading customized apps like wallpapers keyboards everything else um this stock vanilla android experience allows you a lot of customization and a lot of uh, things that you could do to really get the most out of your tablet uh all in all i'm pretty happy with the design it's lightweight it has a lot of features and it's a uh, jelly bean compatible uh, you don't see touch whiz or any type of like unique interface which would hinder that development of it so once our arcos releases like a jelly bean fix it's a one click download to install final thoughts uh, i would agree with you on that i think this is a very unique looking uh tablet they don't i, I know a lot of companies like pan digital and uh even pocketbook have utilized um the exact same shell as most other Chinese brands out there so you see a lot of the similar looking tablets on the market whereas this is completely original uh, front-facing speakers very um, it's got a very good piano black finish on it uh, we had tons of apps open tons of programs open and we played a 3d game and the accelerometer and gyroscope everything was interacting at once absolutely no problems at all 8 inch screen not very common for an 8 inch screen, but I think Arno, uh, Arcos really nailed it. Yeah, for the price, this is a must buy. And of course, if you want to buy any of Arcos's products, you can get them from shoppyreaders.com, which is our sister site. For all the latest news, previews, and interviews, you can check out goodyreader.com. And uh, if you have this tablet, if you're thinking about getting it or if you want to leave a comment you can uh, leave a comment on this video as you're watching it or you can go to youtube.com slash goody reader for our full channel of hundreds and hundreds of videos um three to four million views you know, join uh, the rest of the world with uh, Goody Reader for the most comprehensive hands-on reviews of all the latest gadgets. For GoodyReader.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care. <laughs>